Well, Douglas Couser of BrainVessel.com. But you're really an artist. And actually, I saw the tattoos on your arm a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's great. That's history. My, my son and I just <laughs> got these little tattoos. Uh, first tattoo at 70 years old. So uh, that was cool. But as an artist, I mean, you were selling your skill, right? I mean, that was basically what you were doing. And, and um, artists and design and stuff like that. And, you know, at, on a contract basis, you've been an entrepreneur your whole life and all kind of, I guess, art related businesses, whether sign businesses and stuff like creative. that. Creative. Creative. Yep. And, and so now you're figuring out because you, you and your buddy who were artists together, uh, that the up and down of selling services was a little insecure and you were looking for a way to do that, to, to level that out with a product instead of a selling hourly time or something like that. And you went and got what almost $70,000 on the internet for a cards. I mean, you're making cards, right? <laughs> but, but, a lot of, but a lot of good artwork and a lot of time. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you don't get $70,000 just for being pretty yourself. You know, you got to have some. Earn it. Yeah, have to earn it. But they're just gorgeous. I mean, it, it's uh, um, what is it? A seas and water and uh, so it's a nautical ship, themed, nautical themed cards, nautical yeah. themed deck with uh, pirates and all the all the good stuff. Um, uh, well, how did you get look, almost two thousand people to give you this money? I mean, and they don't even have the cards yet. You're going to fill it out soon, right? <laughs> so, you you have to with any type of crowdfunder, you have to. Um, you have to stay communicated with the people that you're talking uh -huh. to, um, and anyone that's giving you money, you know, treat them with respect because they're they're buying something from you. So it's all about honesty and and mm -hmm. um, communication throughout the process. Mm -hmm. And uh, the two thousand backers happened because, you know, the first two backers were happy and they shared it, and then nice. ten people, you know, ten yeah. backers, and then they start sharing it. And we did little contests here and there. We ran a contest for uh, to become a pirate on the card. So we ran a Blackbeard ah. contest. That became uh, Blackbeard is now a good. I, I would call him a friend now. Um, <laughs> I can rely on him. We have uh, you know crew members that we got out of it for our next campaign that we plan on doing on Kickstarter. So it's we kind of grew this into a family, um, starting with one backer. Ending in you know 1,800 backers plus uh, an additional two or 300 wow. um, people after that, and now and did it's... you hire like publicists and marketing people to do all this? No, it was myself, and we were told not to launch it around Christmas time. Uh huh. Um, and it wasn't because people weren't going to spend. It was we found out later it was uh, because. Uh, it's really hard to respond when you're at dinner with your family, and and you, <laughs> you're in, it's exciting though because you get to share that experience with yes. your family. I think we launched on the 22nd of December, um, or somewhere around there. Yeah, and we did it because we were told that we couldn't, that we should. <laughs> you're so just a pain in the ass kind of guy, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to prove that you could, yeah. and it come it became hugely successful quick, and we we kept up with the you know with the whole brain vessel thing we kept up with the rolling seas and you know there's always obstacles lying ahead but we tackled each one of them and with the people that we attracted along the way we were able to produce um and turn produce our product we already delivered it wow. uh s sent out over 2000 packages and ended up uh gaining a lot of friends and and stuff off of it and we now have a store on our web our website and that that's a brain vessel you could we'll get you there right yep Doc. yep but more importantly when this started i mean so on the 22nd of december you were hoping for a total of thir thirteen thousand dollars and you said you got that in 30 hours so yeah. like by christmas eve you had your thirteen thousand dollars so you didn't want to mess with the christmas tree you want to watch that ticker going on kickstarter yeah i think by christmas eve we were actually up to over thirty thousand wow and so it was a good Christmas um, yeah. <laughs> you know, with the family and stuff, but it was also tax because I knew the importance of making sure that since we were the newbies in yeah. in the playing card crowdfunding area space, that we needed to be very um, you know honest with these people and make sure that we were communicating to get more. 
And uh, here we are. So one, one of the keys that it sounds like you're telling me is that fast and personal responses to, to every customer inquiry, order, whatever it is, and, and not to treat people just as numbers as they come through the door. Huh? Well, you figure if you're giving someone, if you loan someone 20 bucks, you want to hear back from them, right? right. So right. that's in a sense, you know, yeah. you, they want to hear back from you because they're, they're investing some money yeah. into you doing what you want to do. Yeah. And uh, you have to respect that, I think. Um, and a lot of people don't respect that in, that, in, in the crowdfunding platform. But a majority of the, the ones that you get quality output from, they really care about what they're doing. And they've used this tool to, uh, to, to make that happen for them. So, But it seems like also you've used this now to start your whole career on a no, whole new field that looks more promising than what you were doing before, looks more secure than what you are doing before, and it makes you happier than what you were doing before, right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, one of the, like you had mentioned earlier, one of the uh, problems was cash flow as a client surf, client based uh, service company. Um, you know, we love doing work. We love doing creative in general and animation. We do animation and we do, we have a national brand that we're working on right now. Um, and, you know, that client, it was like, those clients are not easy to get when you just start out in business. So the goal was, you know, fighting for two or three thousand dollar jobs to support us yeah. the work of trying to get that money out of them trying to get them to, to work yeah. with you and get it get the job done we had to come up with a way to build sustainability for later down the road so when those clients are gone how do we live right. so you know if all the clients get wiped out um, <laughs> and we have no more contacts uh -huh. what do we do so this was a catalyst for us or the bridge to kind of get us to the point where mm -hmm. let's see how long it will take us to we'll do the client work mm -hmm. and we'll do the sweat. We'll burn the sweat equity yeah. and put all the effort into it and not take a dime from it. Just make it happen so that we can grow it into something. And that's exactly what we did. And that's exactly what we're doing. And I love I love what we've created. And now within that stretch of time. We were in a, we were able to uh, land one real good client. Wow! That so we get to still do what we love, but we get so, to do ourselves our stuff. So, the, in addition to the seventy thousand dollars or whatever you got, uh, you also got another client. I mean, it, it's a way to get. So you got free marketing out of this to get more clients. Well, that was actually separate. That uh -huh. was actually separate. However, um, I think it was, you know, when things are going well and you yes. build momentum. You yeah. have a tendency to be attracted to more yes, or magnetic exactly. to to good right. opportunities, and you you take them and you run with them. Yeah. So it it wasn't meant to be. Was it the universe? I have no idea. Right. But <laughs> this what but it is. you got it anyway. That's my, the important. My thing. motto: Your question mark um, on your hand, and I have a tattoo that says it'll all work out. Oh, really? <laughs> That's my motto. So. Yeah. Well, it does, because we all work out, we're going to all leave here one way or another, so that's might right. well leave having fun, you know, <laughs> that's yep. the other thing. So you're, I mean, I, I guess then you, you, you had effort involved in the cards, but, you know, developing the, the project for Kickstarter to get the money, but if it failed, then you really didn't lose a whole lot, by, except for your time, right? Well, yeah, you lose your you lose your time, you lose your ego, you lose a lot no, of things. No. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I mean, when you put, we had yeah. spent well, Jason had spent from August until December, mm -hmm. um, probably twenty to thirty hours a week. Wow, that whole time just to yeah. prepare for that. We knew we were. I'm not going to sound cocky or anything, yeah. but we knew we would meet our goal. I see. Yeah, my. My estimate of how much we were going to raise was about fifty thousand dollars. I wanted mm -hmm. to raise a fifty thousand goal. I so in my mind, I knew what 50, I needed yeah. to do to try to raise that fifty thousand, and mm -hmm. I would fight until I got to that yeah. point. So we actually kind of backed down a little bit on the uh -huh. Kickstarter because we got a little nervous that there was one piece that we wouldn't be able to accomplish if we met our stretch goal. I see. <laughs> 
So we kind of did at the end, kind of backed off a little bit. Well, if too many pretty girls come through the door, I can't take care of all of them. That's right. I mean, you know what it's like. Come on, when you walk in with a suit like that, you know that happens. <laughs> well, that's a nice problem to have. Well, well, Douglas, you're a delight. And thank you for sharing that with us. And uh, it, it's important, I think, for all of us to learn something like that. How it takes effort, but it can be done. There's more than one way to solve any problem. And that's what you did. You saw your business wasn't going right. Hey, let's try this completely new, completely different. It may work, it may not, but screw it. Let's do it. And know, you know your value, uh, yeah. know, know your value and uh, maintain your integrity Yeah, that's and it. be honest. And you yeah. know what? Soon you'll be able to go to uh, go home or Leave your home for work, and you love do what, doing what you're doing. I have nothing better than that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to get up in the morning to try this again. <laughs> and then when you're bored, then when you're bored, you can go play cards play with our cards, cards. right? <laughs> <laughs> and to get those, it's BrianVessel.com. Bra brain vessel. Brain vessel. Either yeah, one. Brain, brain vessel. This part of it's your brain. It's a brain. This brain. Yeah, <laughs> mine doesn't work that much. <laughs> BrainVessel.com. Thank you, Douglas. Thank you for being there. Old Pennsylvania guy. That's where I'm from. Thank, Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> you bet.